listening to Psych Up Live. Join in our conversation today by calling Dr. Suzanne Phillips or her guest at 1-866-472-5788. That's 1-866-472-5788. You may also send an email to radiohostphillips at gmail.com. Now back to Psych Up Live. Welcome back to Psych Up Live. We're speaking with Dr. Joel Evans about digital connectivity. And I was just asking Dr. Evans um, about the findings in terms of the very different usage between the different platforms on social media and also that socioeconomic level, Dr. Evans, and education seems to play a part. Tell us a little about that. Uh, Well, first of all, uh, there's been a lot of research done across platforms, and the major ones that have been studied are Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And there are differences in the demographics for those groups, um, so that um, uh, Facebook has much different uh, uh, demographics than, let's say, LinkedIn. But what we do see is, in addition to age, we see that education and uh, income have a tremendous uh, impact uh, across uh, every one of the uh, platforms. So in terms of education, uh, it has to do with uh, the comfort level of uh, using social media, the fact that we're more likely to use it at work, which means that we know, you know more platforms, uh, no more devices, um, and that there is a correlation, a strong correlation, between education level and income level. So as our income, as our education goes up, our uh, income goes up, <clears throat> excuse me, so that means that we're more able to afford the 3.6 devices or perhaps the six devices or whatever it is that we are uh, using. And um, we're able to buy the more expensive devices. You know, we're likely, you know, 90% to have uh, an iPhone instead of a more basic uh, smartphone. So I think those things uh, are contributing factors. Mm. Okay, so now in terms of all that you've seen of the good and the bad, and maybe you can mention a few of the real valuable reasons for using internet connection and staying connected and some that aren't so good. I also would like you to share, given how much you research this area and talk about it, some recommendations. So what would you say would be the prime good reasons that advantages to staying connected? Well, I think it gives us the ability to be connected in real time. So uh, if you think about what we call now snail mail, of how long it takes to get to somebody, or even email, which may may take a while for people to read because they're not on their email as much as they're texting. You know, there's this real-time element. Um, As I mentioned before, this is a way for people who are lonely or shy or quiet to be able to interact with people, uh, to be able to chat with people, to get to, to make friends, um, we do it to be entertained. The amount it's uh, the statistics on the amount of the millions of hours of of YouTube videos that are uploaded every hour um, is incredible. So we have the ability to be entertained. Um, we can shop more conveniently and comparison shop. We can get a lot of information on virtually anything. Um, we can get and give opinions. I mentioned that before. And one of the other big, really big things that's driving the expansion of this now is the mobile devices, because people are more likely to uh, be connected through their mobile device than they are through their computer, uh, their, their, either their laptop or their desktop, and to be on for you know, longer periods of time because of the portability. So I think those are some of the uh, good good reasons. I think, and people like to play games and, you know, there are all types of games that are uh, everything from just a plain 
uh, the thrill of an action sport game to something that's more intellectually challenging. You could there are there are uh, sites that have free crossword puzzle games that are uh, that are pretty uh, sophisticated. So I think there's and we can join groups. We could you know if we have uh, an ailment or we have a particular interest, we can always find a group, type it in, uh, and and find that group. Uh, but we also have some. Uh, negative things. Uh, one is becoming too obsessed or addicted to being being connected. Almost not, you know, not not looking at your watch or not even knowing that you're on, or feeling that you have to get out. You know, before you get out of bed every morning, you've got to check or you're checking. You know, my undergraduate class is 85 minutes. Do you really need to check your phone five or ten times in that 85 minutes? What what actually is going on? So we get obsessed. We tend to waste time if we're on too long. We can be distracted. Just think of being in a city environment and bumping into somebody as they're texting and not watching. Um, employers, as well as you know, people like me, complain about uh, the lack of uh, social, loss of social skills, uh, the loss of writing skills, because we so much use uh, shorthand and, and lingo. Um, there's a lot of uh, bad information that's online, fake news, alternative news, etc. And um, th- there's been a lot on Facebook. Sp- Facebook is is hiring thousands and thousands of people to police this now, so we have to mm-hmm. be careful of that. Um, probably the most important one on on my list is, you know, the the hate mongering, the bullying, the sex thing, you know, all of these bad things that go on. And I would just mention that la- last week a young lady was convicted of manslaughter uh, because of the way that she um, was talking her boyfriend or former boyfriend into committing suicide. He had been suicidal. He was in his car, he was, uh, you know, choking, he decided to get out, and she basically, you know, texted him, uh, you're a wimp or something to that effect, get back in the car and do it, and he did it, instead of saying, okay, you really didn't want to do it. So it was determined, because he was out of his car, that she egged him on the last way. So there's, it, 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 there's a, an ability to be bullied, which is absolutely incredible. Whether it's our weight, our height, our race, our gender, our religion, it is just, it could be terrible. People should be aware that there's not nearly as much privacy as they think. Um, Just uh, within the last couple of days, Google has announced that with Gmail, which is the most used email in the world, that they will stop scanning messages looking for opportunities to advertise specific products to you. So I don't know about the other listeners, but I know I was surprised to read that they're scanning every email that I sent through Gmail. Wow. It's amazing. It's really amazing. It is. is. And it's a good, it's a really good thing that they're going to stop doing that. So in terms of um, every age group, what take home message would you give them in terms of making online connectivity an asset? Okay, so I have a whole bunch of things so you can stop me <laughs> when you when well, give, 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 us, give us about two of the most important so we have time. Two of the most important. I have so many that are important. Um, I, I think overall that people have to plan how much being on they want to they wanna be involved in. And be sure to engage in interpersonal activities and writing every day. That there's got to be a boundary, a limit. Two hours, three hours, five hours, not every day. Turn the phone off once in a while. And, and don't be checking every, you know, ten minutes. So I think just, you know, setting a boundary so that we're not into this obsessive, you know, the world revolves um, around things. Um, I'm going to sneak this one in. Be careful with what the information that's provided online. It drives me crazy when people provide their their birthday, their home telephone number. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get bull- cyber bullied or get uh, convinced to follow the crowd. Don't be cyber bullied, but don't get yourself into being a cyber bully. Um, don't be a bystander. 
Don't yeah, I got a bunch of others, yeah. but I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll give this other one main one. So I, I always talk about this. We have to think before we enter any content on any platform that may be embarrassing, inappropriate, etc. So we're talking about information of any kind, photos, opinions, videos placed online or, and I have four points to make here, one, often seen by unintended viewers. Employers go to Facebook now. So if you haven't cleaned up your Facebook account, that's a detriment. Uh, second, anything that's online has a long shelf life. So even if you delete it, if somebody else read it and wanted to spread it, they can. There are all kinds of instances of things being deleted that 10 years later you can still find them. Uh, third one. Uh, stuff about you could be placed online without your knowledge or permission. Think of the fact that you're at a party, you're at a bar, you're doing something, and someone else, because everybody's got a phone these days, snaps a picture of you and they put it at Facebook. You didn't know it. Uh, it's got you uh, smoking a bong pipe or drinking and you're under 21. You don't even know that it happens. So we have to be so careful. And the fourth one is that and things that are posted about us can end up in a Google search. You know, we could never, no matter what a company could promise you, erase something negative that's online. We could only, by getting uh, more popular information about us that's listed higher, that we could get it to the second or third page that people don't read. So, wow. when in doubt, don't press send. Invaluable advice, wonderful advice. Um, how will our listeners find you? We're just about out of time. How could they find your blogs and any other? I know how much you post, so how would they find you, Dr. Evans? My blog is Evans, E V A N S, on O N, marketing, M A R K E T I N G, one word, dot com. That's my blog. And uh, the easiest email to get me at, because it's easiest to remember, is joel, J-O-E-L, prof, P-R-O-F, at hotmail.com. Terrific. And I um, welcome anybody to ask me about anything. Career and I will, planning, social media, anything. If they're a cancer survivor, me too. So I'm willing to talk to anybody about anything. And Dr. Evans has been true to his word when people listened to his branding show and then reached out for help with resumes. He was right there. So I want to thank you for that, Dr. Evans. And I know you're true to your word about people connecting with you. Um, I wouldn't know for if I didn't mean, mean it. Okay. I want to thank you mostly, though. I know the amount of information you gathered for this show. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's a not only what you do on a regular basis with your blogging, that's a gift, but the way you share the important information today really gives us an opportunity to self-reflect and consider, am I using connectivity as an asset or a liability? I want to thank our listeners. Please remember that this show and all of the shows on Psych Up Live become podcasts that you could hear at any time. This show will become a podcast later this evening. Please remember that you could contact me at radiohostphillips at gmail.com. Send me a question. Send me a comment. Until next week, mostly take care. Thanks and be listening.